Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the Puritan and we get to hear from, surprise, surprise, Pieboard today in Act 3, Scene 4. So things that are going on so far, stuff is pretty much going to plan as far as he's concerned. He got the chain, uh, Sir Godfrey said that he's going to get a pardon for the guy who's in jail who can get him his chain back. And the, the first three bits of the prophecy that he predicted in front of Lady Plus have come true. He's made them come true. Uh, Oath was injured and then he got a sleeping draft that makes it look like he's dead. So they think that he died on her front porch and then with Godfrey losing something. So now the women are in a bit of a panic, but uh, the pie board is like, ha ha, all is good. Now I just got to go get idol out of jail. But while he was doing that, he got arrested by Puttex and Ravenshaw, who were hired by his landlady to arrest him because he owes her money. But he managed to finagle things. He pretended that he had drawn a picture of a mask that somebody's going to pay him five pounds for. And Puttex and Ravenshaw are like, well, if you can, if you pay us more than she is, then we'll go with you to collect this money. You can pay off your debt, blah, blah, blah. And Pieboard's like, oh, thank you. You're so wonderful. Let's go. And then they're leaving the stage at the end of Act 3, Scene 3, they knock on the door frame, whatever, which leads us directly into scene, uh, Act 3, Scene 4, which starts out with them knocking on the door of this house. And then they're like, oh, look at this house. Isn't this a beautiful house and all these adornments? You know, this is, this is a wealthy gentleman, blah, blah, blah. And a servant comes and answers the door. And he's like, you know, can I help you? And Pieboard's like, yes, I'm here to see your master. And the servant's like, um why like what's your business with him and pie board's like well he knows what my business is with him don't you recognize me and the servant's like oh of course of course i'll go get him right away so the servant leaves and pie board and Ravenshaw and Puddux go back to like admiring all the stuff that's in the house. There's like these beautiful maps, these books. But Pieboard gets to have a couple little asides where he's like, of course the servant doesn't know me. He's never met me before. I don't know who lives in this house, but I'm hoping that everything will, will fall out the way that it should fall out. So the gentleman of the house comes in and Pieboard is like, oh, my great good friend, so good to see you, and goes over to him and takes him and does sort of a like whisper, whisper to you over here while Puttox and Ravenshaw are over there. And he says, I beseech you, conceal me, sir. I'm undone else. I have the mask here for you, sir. Look you, sir. I beseech your worship. First, pardon my rudeness, for my extremes makes me bolder than I would be. I am a poor gentleman and a scholar, and now most unfortunately fallen into the hands of unmerciful officers, arrested for debt, which, though small, I am not able to compass. By reason, I'm destitute of lands, money, and friends, so that if I fall into the hungry swallow of the prison, I am like utterly to perish, and with fees and extortions be pinched clean to the bone. Now, if ever pity had interest in the blood of a gentleman, I beseech you vouchsafe but to favor that my means of escape, which I have already thought upon. So he's trying to get the gentleman to conspire with him to get him out of there. <laughs> So first he's like, you know, please, please, please help me. And then for show, he, for the sake of Puttox and Ravenclaw, he's like, here's that mask that I drew up for you and goes back to like talking small with him. So it looks like they're bargaining, looking over the quality of the thing, whatever, whatever. But what he tells the gentleman is that he, he himself is a gentleman and a scholar and he owes a little tiny bit of money, but he can't pay it because he has no land, he has no money, he has no friends, he has nothing. And he's like, because I have nothing, if they arrest me and take me to jail, I'm likely going to die there because I'm not going to have any sort of way to get out. So if you, if you have even the tiniest bit of pity in your heart, please take pity on me and help me out here. And the gentleman is like, ah, good sir, let me see this mask. And those two over there keep talking, admiring the maps and books. And in tomorrow's monologue, we will get to hear Pieboard's plan for how to get out of there and what the gentleman can do to help him escape. So I'll see you tomorrow for that. Mwah.